Yeah, my name is uh, Stani. Uh, I'm the, uh, the founder and CEO of Aave. So uh, Aave is a um, decentralized uh, money market protocol uh, built on, on the uh, uh, Ethereum blockchain. And uh, basically today we, we are uh, talking about interesting features that we have and, and that you basically can use uh, in, in whatever uh, you're bu building yourself. Uh, so one of the most interesting features that recently we launched at Aave uh, is so-called uh, credit delegation. And, and in this particular talk, we're, we're going to uh, look at credit delegation and, and how you could use it uh, as a concept, whatever uh, you're building. Uh, this particular uh, presentation will, will take a look how we build the credit delegation function uh, on top of uh, Ethereum. But basically, um, there's an opportunity to, to basically uh, bridge that elsewhere. There's interesting use cases how you could uh, use credit delegation in, in your uh, DeFi. Uh, in general, how the Aave protocol uh, works uh, is, is that um, we have a, a money market protocol, which means that uh, we have different kinds of pools of reserves where users can deposit their assets. Uh, cryptographic assets such as stable coins or uh, ethereum for example and earn interest on 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 those assets so so when you're depositing something into Aave, uh, at the same time you can actually draw a credit credit line so you could borrow something else against your uh, deposits so what's interesting here is that uh, you could also, if you don't want to borrow yourself, you could delegate that credit line to someone else who you trust or to a smart contracts uh, that, that could do some predefined function. And this is basically uh, the idea to cover it uh, today more, more uh, widely. And yeah, so the other protocol itself, we, we have different kinds of reserves. Uh, the main, main pool reserves are based on main assets, mostly on stable coins and a and, and bunch of other ERC-20 tokens such as uh, Link, Land, and, 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 and for example, uh, Wi-Fi. And of course, we have the, the flash loan functionality built, built inside of the, the natively into the uh, protocol, which allows you to also borrow all the liquidity that is available for one Ethereum transaction. So, What's interesting about Aave is that uh, it has grown quite substantially. So we launched the, the protocol itself beginning of the year uh, on, on January. And since now it has grown to, to a protocol that is that has value over one and a half billion worth uh, USD wise. And it's interesting because we started to build uh, blockchain based uh, financial applications since 2000, end of 2016, uh, we built the first on-chain lending protocol, uh, uh, e Ethereum lending, ETH lend, and, and since then uh, started to, to basically evolve the current product to, to, to a one that we have today. So why, why is this metric is important is that um, all that value that is locked uh, in, in those smart contracts means that they're not uh, at the current moment uh, utilized. So they're used as collateral and, and there is a potential that you could use it in, in some other magical way, such as the flash loans or of the credit delegation that we are uh, going to discuss uh, uh, today. Any different asset variations? So uh, you could see that there is uh, different market sizes of, of different different assets. For example, we have Thai market of thirty seven million. We have USDC market of uh, two hundred thirteen million, and and you could see that uh, not all of those markets are actually borrowed. So it's over collateralized, which basically means that there's always more liquidity than, than there's utilization, which has two important purposes. One is that the system is, is over collateralized. So that's, that's very important functionality. And second is that it minimizes the uh, liquidity risk in the protocol. So if you deposit, for example, USDC, uh, you're able to withdraw that USDC, for example, on the ne even next Ethereum block. And uh, since there is those assets uh, in the system, you could actually utilize them. Uh, one of the interesting parts uh, in our protocol is so-called A tokens. So A tokens is a uh, interest-bearing token. So it's kind of like a credit 
certificate, um, sorry, deposit certificate of your assets, asset that you are depositing into Aave. So if you are depositing USDC, you get uh, 101 back AUSDC. And A tokens are interesting because they're growing uh, in balance instead of value, which is very unique uh, feature, uh, especially when we launched this beginning of this year. But it seems that there's many projects that are actually adopting the way of uh, we build uh, this this function uh, in in natively. And why uh, A tokens play a very important role here uh, is that when you hold, let's say, AUSDC or or A DAI, you're earning interest, but also you have kind of like global permissionless savings account that you can basically uh, uh, obtain. So you don't need to even deposit to Aave, you just need to buy those tokens somewhere and you have this uh, kind of like a um, <coughs> savings account. And you can always redirect interest and seeing the, the valid gro uh, balance grow is, is pretty fascinating. And since you, you're earning on those A tokens, um, you could actually utilize them by, by delegating the credit uh, that you are allowed to draw from the, from the uh, uh, protocol, and and and, and basically, uh, uh, this is just a, a figure showing the the growth of the the A tokens itself in in different forms. Uh, but but what's interesting here in in terms of um, drawing the credit is that if you are not uh, in the position to draw yourself, so if you don't need to borrow uh, from the protocol, you could always delegate that credit. So how credit delegation works in essence is that. Uh, you create a debt proxy contract and, and then you delegate there your credit by depositing A tokens. And based on that A token balance, uh, the, the borrower that you assign the, the, the credit can actually draw from the other protocol. So it's a way to actually uh, gain more interest as a uh, depositor by, by, by delegating the credit to someone who will not use as a, a, a collateral uh, when they're borrowing. So it enables basically under collateralized loans in a way that someone else is guaranteeing that loan with their collateral, which is uh, fascinating. And there's two ways of doing credit delegation. Uh, one way is, is, is basically that you delegate to a uh, smart contract or one way you're, you're delegating to someone who you trust and you put a legal wrapper on it. For example, you could do an agreement through open law. So, how does it basically um, uh, work, work in, in, in this case? So in terms of like a uh, credit delegation uh, to a, a smart contract, it, it just means that you are allowing the borrower to be a smart contract that can do some kind of predefined functions. For example, you could have a smart contract that is drawing the credit line uh, to, for example, yield farm on other different protocols or utilize the capital uh, in some other way. And when you are delegating credit to, to a person you trust, you, you, you are basically going into a trust relationship with that party and you're wrapping it either with some sort of agreement or, or just plain, plain trust. So both of these models are pretty, pretty unique. And uh, in terms of smart contract based credit delegation where a smart contract is, is the borrower, uh, we have one example, which is the YA Link Vault uh, in Wyern. And, and there is credit delegation with 50% loan to value ratio at the moment. And the strategy borrows stable coins to yield farm and generate profits for the uh, uh, credit delegators. Uh, and currently, I think there is roughly 20 million worth of USDC uh, utilized with the credit delegation. So that's, that's quite uh, fascinating in that sense. Technically, how the credit delegation works is that uh, there is so-called um, uh, collateral vault proxy, smart contract, which you can interact. Uh, we will share some documentation with you. So you, you basically use a deploy vault, uh, which, which, which basically deploys a credit delegation vault uh, to a specific, and, and with a specific borrower uh, address. So it's, it's kind of like a debt wrapper for, for each and every uh, credit delegation. Then you practically set a uh, maximum borrow with, with the uh, increase limit function. And, and then uh, the delegators can deposit their A tokens into this uh, vault. 
and then the borrower can draw with the borrow function. And then, of course, there's repay functions for, for the borrower to call to repay after the borrowing is done. And then there's a withdraw function for the delegate, delegator to withdraw those A tokens uh, from the um, uh, credit delegation world. So it's pretty sim simple in terms of technicalities, uh, uh, how, how it basically works. And I think there's like a lot of interesting use cases that we haven't yet figured out, like what you could do. Uh, you could, for example, create uh, various interesting ways of, of trust-based uh, delegations, or you could create a credit uh, rating system on, on top of the, uh, uh, that, that utilizes the, the delegations and, and based on that uh, gives those loans to, to borrowers. Or you could, for example, one interesting solution could be a, a, if you have rebate system like YAM, where every rebase buys treasury, you could actually take loan in form of credit delegation and repay that loan on every positive rebase. There's a bunch of different kinds of features and functionalities that could be built. And I'm really interested uh, to see like what other people come up with uh, this functionality. Uh, yeah, so if you want to try credit delegation uh, in, in this in essence, how it works, uh, here's the uh, documentation available uh, for you. This particular documentation shows the implementation of when you delegate credit to someone and, and wrap it with a legal agreement, but you can delegate it to a smart contract that, that has some uh, defined functions and, and doesn't bear, for example, much of a credit risk. Uh, so that's, that's, uh, that's a pretty, pretty cool, uh, cool thing. Yeah, so uh, other stuff, if you want to build on Aave or, or find, find more resources, go to aave.com sorry, docs.ava.com, and you will find more information there. And, and, and feel free to join our uh, Discord, Discord as well. And we're, we're happy, happy to help whatever you are uh, trying to build or, or, or if you want to know more about uh, the credit delegation as well. Yep, so here's our team. Uh, we're the Avengers, and uh, here's, a, here's a QR code to our uh, Telegram group if you want to discuss more. Yeah, and, and this is uh, pretty much it for, for today. And uh, yeah, I want to thank everyone uh, who participated and, and, and listened to this uh, talk. Thank you so much.